These past few years have been absolutely amazing for Seventeen, and currently they're one of the most iconic boy groups in K-pop. Since their popularity is getting bigger and bigger, so is their net worth. When Seventeen released their fourth studio album, Face the Sun, the album shot to the top of the charts, and in the first week of its release, the album sold more than 2 million copies. Seventeen then became the second artist ever to sell over 2 million copies in the first week, following BTS and overtaking NCT Dream. To top it all off, Face the Sun achieved the fourth highest first week sales in Hanto history, led by BTS and their albums Map of the Soul 7, B, and Map of the Soul Persona. Face the Sun also achieved three number one spots in a row on Billboard's top album sales chart. These huge milestones surely sent a lot of money into Seventeen's pocket. Numerous sources say that the group could be worth somewhere between $12.36 million to $17.3 million. The fact that almost all of the members still live together in dorms helps their financial situation as they don't have to spend money on rent. The only two members who are said to be living elsewhere are Mingyu and Wanu. Although it's never been confirmed, it's believed Mingyu and Wanu live together in an apartment which splits the rent into two and doesn't break the bank. How much the members receive individually also depends on how their agency, Pletus Entertainment, divides their paychecks. Some sources say that Pletus Entertainment divides profit by keeping 80% of it while the remaining 20% goes to the artist. This applies to things such as physical sales. When it comes to overseas promotion, 80% of the profit goes to the artist, while 20% goes to the company. Even if most of the profit possibly goes to the company, the 17 members are still doing extremely well financially. In November of 2021, it was reported that DK purchased a five-story commercial building in Gangnam Gu Shinsadong in Seoul. The purchase apparently happened in 2020, and DK paid almost $6 million. Insiders reveal that in order to quicken the process of acquiring a loan for the building, DK set up a company known as Road DK, where DK is the only and largest shareholder. Apart from his activities in Seventeen, DK is also a member of the subunit Bu Sok Soon, or BSS, with Hoshi and Sung Kwan. BSS welcomed the year with a bang when they had their second comeback with the single Fighting and the mini album Second Wind. Shortly after its release, the song became a huge hit. For the first time since the subunit debuted in 2018, BSS won first place with Fighting on Show Champion. Their mini album Second Wind also made history with its sales records. On the first day, BSS sold over 478,000 copies of the album, meaning that the album sold more copies than any other album released by a K-pop subunit. BSS also broke a few Melon records. Fighting became the most streamed song of 2023 within the first 24 hours of its release, and all of the songs on the album placed somewhere in the top 10 of Melon chart. Fighting also did incredibly well on iTunes, as it debuted as number two on worldwide iTunes song chart. Sung Kwan is a familiar face when it comes to reality and TV shows as well. Because of his easygoing and warm personality, he appeared on famous programs like Jab Dong San, Idol Dictation Contest, or Racket Boys. In January 2022, Sung Kwan was awarded with the Male Idol Entertainer at the 2022 Korea First Brand Day Song. Ho Shi expanded his solo activities when he had his debut at Paris Fashion Week in January 2023, which he attended together with Dong Han. Not only did the two of them experience something new, Ho Shi and Dong Han left with higher numbers in their bank account purely because of their huge influence. Both of them placed in the top 10 influences that attended the event. Dong Han and YSL ended up in third place, and Ho Shi and Ami ended up in sixth. Dong Han and Ho Shi also had the highest engagement rate out of all of them, surpassing even Kylie Jenner. We do know that celebrities get paid when they attend Paris Fashion Week, and since Dong Han and Ho Shi had very high engagement rates on social media, there's no doubt that they left Paris with a higher number in their bank accounts. Dong Han was the third most influential celebrity at the event, and he earned $6.6 million in earned media value after his collaboration with YSL. Hoshi had an earned media value of $2.6 million. Seventeen members are definitely no strangers when it comes to endorsements and being brand ambassadors. In August of 2022, Dong Han became the ambassador for the cosmetic brand Vanilla Co., and his way of promoting the brand's products went viral on Twitter. Dong Han decided to do a little impromptu photo shoot at the airport to promote the brand's products and was even nicknamed the Promotion Fairy by the media. Wanu was selected as the model for the brand Huxley, which is famous for body and hand care products. Wanu looked handsome as ever in the cream-colored cardigan, and the pictures came out absolutely dreamy. Because of his hard work, Wanu was able to make a huge purchase when he bought a limited edition watch by the brand Roger Dubuis. The price of the watch might make your head spin a little, as the watch is over $167,000. The price is so high because there are only 20 of those watches. Wanu also appeared on the website 
all of Young, where he and other members, including Dino, Sung Kwan, Dong Han, Hoshi, and DK, promoted different beauty products. Seventeen's leader Escoops became a muse for the brand Some By Me, further expanding their endorsement portfolio. Because of their financial security, it's no surprise that some of the boys are interested in the finer things in life. Much like Wanu, Uzi and Escoops also have a knack for expensive watches. Uzi's watch is actually the most expensive out of the three, as his Richard Mill RM7201 watch is worth around $188,000. Escoops purchased a Roger Dubuis watch as well, and his Excalibur Spider Huracan model is worth around $54,500. Escoops doesn't always splurge only on luxurious items. Since the members are financially comfortable and can afford many things, Seventeen never hesitate to reach out to help those in need. In June of 2021, Hoshi decided to donate to the Nam Yangju Welfare Foundation to celebrate his birthday. Hoshi donated around $89,000, and as a result of his donation, he became an official member of the Community Chest of Korea's Honor Society. This foundation has been helping Nam Yangju residents who have been truly struggling after the COVID-19 pandemic halted individual and corporate donations to the foundation. In 2020, Hoshi showed his support to the alma mater by donating around $20,000 to Masok High School. The money was then transferred to scholarships for the school students who were financially struggling. When it comes to the 8 and June, they snagged a couple of endorsements and solo activities in China. In 2018, both the 8 and June appeared on the Chinese reality show Taoyin Zandi, which focuses on finding new trends in music. June was the winner of the first solo stage competition on the show with a Chinese cover of Seventeen's Thanks. A year later, the 8 appeared as one of two dance coaches on the Chinese survival show Youth With You, and he stayed throughout the first season of the show. As many fans know, June started his career in the entertainment industry when he was just two years old and was cast in a commercial. He also appeared in numerous TV shows. In 2022, the 8 became the ambassador for Tencent's ICE, which is China's largest and most used internet service portal. In 2021, the 8 and June were chosen as the brand ambassadors for the cosmetic brand Rockwest. In June of 2022, the 8 and Mingyu became ambassadors of the powerhouse Burberry and even traveled to Busan to attend a fancy fashion event and even went on a yacht trip. Both members shared some behind the scenes pictures on their Instagram, showing that they were the perfect fit for a brand like Burberry. For those who are curious about how much Burberry pays their ambassadors, it's estimated that a brand ambassador at Burberry located in France earns almost 31,000 euros per year. Definitely not bad. The two youngest members in Seventeen, Vernon and Dino, made headlines when they appeared in prestigious magazines like First Look and Elle. They also lent their faces to Bioderma and appeared on the website All of Young. Vernon releases solo songs on the side, and his most recent comeback was with the song Black Eye. He also collaborated with the pop star Charlie XCX. Hopefully they'll get more opportunities in the future because they would make the perfect ambassadors. All members of Seventeen are financially secure, but Mingyu is considered to be the richest member of Seventeen, mainly because of all of his solo activities and ambassadorships. Mingyu also has the most followers on Instagram, with the number sitting at 8.6 million. In a What's In My Bag video for El Korea, Mingyu showed that he has an eye for the more expensive and high-end things in life. The wallet he showed in the video, a long wallet by the brand Goyard Matignon, is priced around $2,000. Mingyu added that this wallet is a meaningful item for him, as it's something that he bought with his own money for the first time. Among other essentials Mingyu showed off in the video, he also introduced the camera that he likes the most, which is by the brand Leica. Leica cameras are very expensive, ranging somewhere between $8,000 to $20,000. Mingyu knows what it's like to be booked and busy, because it seems like brands are almost fighting over who gets to work with him first. Mingyu has worked with names like Bottega Veneta, Jimmy Choo, Laura Mercier, Burberry, Prada, Louis Vuitton, and the Swiss luxury watch brand Omega. It's expected the list will grow even longer this year. So considering all of Mingyu's solo activities, what's the potential number in his bank account? In June of 2022, K-pop stars published an article about Mingyu's possible net worth in which they stated that Mingyu's net worth could be up to $5 million. It's possible that it was definitely more or less than that, but the number definitely grew throughout the second half of 2022. Mingyu is becoming the new it boy, and we're all here for it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.